arm barring from the closed guard. A lot of people forget to pivot their body so that their spine is 90 degrees to their training partner's spine. When I have Jason in my closed guard like this, maybe everything is going well for me. I'm able to go and break Jason's posture down. Maybe I'm able to go and use my elbow to push his elbow in and then I wrap up here my high closed guard. You see how my spine is in alignment with Jason's spine. This is a mistake because what happens is a lot of people think they're here. This is great. I'm just going to go and bring my leg up and then over. If I'm still in alignment with Jason, just like this, you see how my body's all twisted up like this here. What Jason can do from here is he can open up both of his hands. He's going to cup my leg. He's going to put his chin into my leg just like this. And he's going to walk around. He's going to be able to go and pass my guard right away like that. It, it puts my body in a very twisted, sorry Jason, one more time here. It puts my body in a very twisted position. I want to be strong like this, having my knees come down, my body square to my legs. So when I'm able to go and break Jason's posture down, just like this, pushing his elbow in so that elbow's in my belly button, climbing up for a high closed guard, what I want to do is I want to use my knees here to turn Jason using my abs here so that my spine is perpendicular to Jason's spine. As well, what helps is my hand here hooks his knee. This as well allows me to go and get into a better angle to see how my spine is perpendicular to Jason's spine. And then I bring the leg over. I can control like this to tap Jason out or I can sweep him over to tap, to tap Jason out here. But it's really important to get that angle where my spine is perpendicular to Jason's spine for the armbar in the close guard.